Welcome to my opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And this day, we want to tell you breaking news. The body of 44-year-old teacher Nat Natalie Dawkins was found in a shallow grave in the Sandy Bay area of Clarendon. You would have recalled that Natalie was abducted by a gunman. Her bag was found on the Spanish Town Lake of Highway 2000 and police decided to follow up this disappearance of this teacher who is a nation builder by profession and when they went to a place called Bellas Gate in St. Catherine they encountered gunman with her car looking to sell it and a shootout ensued and one 20 year old Jeff Bedwood was killed in that shootout. His brother was then captured by the police and taken in for investigation and another man they said turned up at hospital with gunshot wounds who they believe was in that confrontation with the police now the news the story is that she was actually found in a shallow grave in the sandy bay area of clarendon in a advanced state of decompo decomposition and you know it's just sad as i said earlier in a couple of videos the longer it takes to find her is a slimmer chance of finding her alive and clearly based on what we are hearing it seems as if this teacher lived alone so she was an easy target for these woodlums and then to make matters worse is like they abducted her and decided to sell her motor vehicle to make money from her motor vehicle a teacher by profession nation builder she teach that four path um, primary school now the students are left in mourning teachers are left in mourning a whole nation is left in mourning because of an of a nation builder being killed but i hope that the other persons that the police who have located in this situation they will be charged and be put away for life because nation builders and security forces are persons of the state and those persons should be highly protected but as I said, sad news at this point. Natalie Dawkins, 44-year-old teacher who was missing, was found dead in a shallow grave in Clarendon. And we hope her family and her school fraternity will find solace and comfort in this dreadful time. We hope that incidents like these will never be repeated in Jamaica. Well, that's it for another one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, stay safe. Look out for a loved one, look out for a neighbor, and most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.